Hey, what's up you guys? It's Judy here with My Life as Geek Guy. On this channel, I create videos on product reviews, makeup tutorials, and lifestyle advice with the aim to entertain, educate, and enrich the lives of others. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I would love for you to join the Geek Guy family, and if you're returning here to my channel, then welcome back. Today's video is going to be a project pan intro for 2019. Now I know, I know we are already in May as it is, and I'm probably really, really late to the project pan party, but it's never too late to get started on something. So basically one of my subscribers suggested to me to do a project pan for the year of 2019 simply because I have mentioned before that money is getting a little bit tight for me. I'm in a position and time of life where I'm not able to spend as much money on makeup as I used to before. So because of that reason, I have decided to start a project pan for these particular products. I'm generally the sort of person that will stick to the same usual regime of products when I find that they work for me. Like for example, if you've watched any of my videos, you'll know that the L'Oreal Infallible Matte Foundation is my absolute holy grail foundation that I will not use any other. So I generally go through one of those products in maybe three or four months. The same with my concealer. So my Maybelline Age Rewind and my Maybelline Master Conceal are the two that I sort of swap in between. Maybe even use my L'Oreal Infallible Concealer Pomade. So I don't generally air very much from the products that I love and know work for me. So I may even go through a product quite quickly. So basically the products that I have chosen today are the things that I really want to challenge myself to use up. I'm not going to restrict myself to any timeline. If I use them up, I use them up. If I am towards the end of most of these things, I will do a project pan update, let you guys know how I'm going. Now before I jump into talking about all of these products, if you guys do enjoy project pan videos, then definitely give the video a thumbs up and let me know what you think about project pan videos. Are they interesting to you? Do you find the progress of using up these products quite exciting? If you haven't already, then please subscribe before you leave if you want to. If you don't want to, that's seriously kind of hurtful for me, but you know what, I'll get over it. <laughs> you can also follow me on my social media media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All of them are Life is Geek Guy. And now we're just gonna get straight into these products. Now, the first one is an eyeshadow palette. I was kind of um and ahhing about including an eyeshadow palette in my project pad because, I mean, let's be real here. How often do we actually go through an eyeshadow palette? How often do we actually hit pan on an eyeshadow palette? I think I've really only hit pan on one eyeshadow palette in my whole entire makeup life. Maybe two, but the first one would have been when I really only owned maybe two eyeshadow palettes. Now I own probably, I don't know if you've seen my eyeshadow palette makeup collection, but I probably have at least 20 to 30 eyeshadow palettes, if not not more. The only eyeshadow palette that I actually have hit pan on and still continue to use is my Morphe and Kathleen Lights eyeshadow palette, but I did want to include this eyeshadow palette in my project pan because I just wanted to really challenge myself to use up something like this. And I recently found that I really enjoy the eyeshadows in this palette. You can create some really neutral everyday looks with it. You can go all out with an eyeshadow look with these colors. So I'm not gonna be like hit pan on every single shade because I mean like being realistic, really that's not gonna happen. So I'm gonna try and hit pan at least on just one of these eyeshadows and we'll see how I go. I'll be quite proud of myself if I actually do hit pan on at least one of these eyeshadows. If any of them, I'll probably hit pan maybe on the shade Potion because I love this just as an over, all over lid shade for a really quick and easy look. This one all over the lid, this one on an outer corner, and this shade Kaleidoscope on just the center of my lid, and I'm good to go and out the door. It's a very quick and easy everyday look for me that I can do, so that's why I decided to use this one. Wish me luck, we'll see how I go with this one. So that's the first one. The next one is my Ofra Cosmetics highlighter in the shade Rodeo Drive. Now, I did want to include a highlighter in this project pan because like, I use highlighters all the time, but I have so, so many and I just swap and change between so many highlighters and I don't really stick to one. So I'm gonna try and use this highlighter for when I go to work every single day. It's a beautiful shade, I already love it, so I'm quite confident that I will hit pan on it within a few months if I use it every single day. I actually have made a little bit of progress being realistic it takes so so long to hit pan on any one product because when you even if you use it every single day it's really only just a tiny little bit that you use on your face because no one wants to like cake on as much makeup on their face as they possibly can well maybe if you want to that's okay it's up to you it's your choice your life you do you boo but <laughs> I don't want to really have so much highlight on my face 
all the time just for the sake of using it up but I do want to use it up so we'll see how I go with this one I'll be quite pleased if I hit pan on this within a couple months which I think possibly I have a chance of doing just so that you guys know that I'm not gonna be cheating on hitting pan like right in the center just like focusing my sponge or my brush right in the center and be like hit pan hit pan <laughs> I'm going to go around the outside of it as well and see how I go with that I did want to include a foundation in this project pan video because I have a few that I would like to use and a lot that I don't use simply because they are not quite my shade but possibly the foundation that is the closest to my skin tone that I could possibly make work is this Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation now this isn't a full coverage foundation and I find that I need to really work with this foundation to make it work so it is going to be quite a challenge for me to use this one up I just chose this one because it is the most expensive foundation that I own and it's probably going to expire soon anyway so I just wanted to try and use this one up if it starts breaking me out then obviously I'll discontinue using it but I did want to challenge myself to use up this foundation I really only use one kind of foundation and again that's the L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour matte foundation and that works so so well for me but I'm going to try and use this one at work see if it works for me and fingers crossed I don't have a lot of bad looking makeup days because that would just make me really sad <laughs> Now the next item is not quite so much a challenge for me to use up because this one is the Ofra Cosmetics Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Atlantic City. My absolute favorite lipstick of all absolute time and I have been known to wear red lipstick to work every single day for like months on end and it's always this one. I have gone through about five or six tubes of this so I don't think it'll be too much of a challenge for me to use this one up but I did just want to use this one because I mean it's a lipstick that I know I will wear all the time and it will go with a lot of the clothes that I tend to gravitate towards wearing as well which is why I have chosen this red liquid lipstick as my project pan lippy I really kind of skip over using bronzer a lot of the time especially since I started using cream contour as my contour bronzer so I'm going to challenge myself to use up this Maybelline City bronzer now this one is what I'm actually wearing on my face today I actually quite like it so I'm not really stressed that I'll have to use it and not enjoy it at the same time I really only gravitate between two powder bronzers one of them is my Morphe Brontour bronzer slash contour powder in the shade Lager and the other one is this one but I have made quite a progress in my Morphe bronzer so that one's kind of like on its way out anyway so I just wanted to challenge myself to use this one because this one is basically brand new you know, I've really only been using it for a few weeks now so that is one that I'm going to try and use up the next one is a mascara I really only use one mascara and that's this one this is the essence all eyes on me mascara I absolutely love it I use it because Tati Westbrook recommended it on her channel she absolutely loves this mascara so I, that's why I use it and I love it and I don't really have any other love for mascara and that's also because I don't once I find something that works for me I don't really want to use more not unless it's an eyeshadow palette because those are different and exciting but when it comes to face products or things like eyeliners and mascaras when I find something that I really, really enjoy, then I really only stick to that one thing, which is why I feel like this project pan idea is a really good one for me because I do have more generally than one product, like more than one foundation, more than one highlighter. So it's good to actually use up one thing before I move on to trying the next one. So that's the mascara that I am using at the moment. Love, probably will be using it up in the next couple of months. But as I go through these products, I'll probably do another project pen update in the next couple of months. So uh, keep your eye out for that one and wish me luck on the progress of these things. Now I also did want to include a primer in this video simply because again, I'm stuck in a rut of the primers that I use. I know that this one works for me so I'm not too stressed out that I won't enjoy using this as part of my makeup application. But this one is the Mecca Cosmetica Hydrating Primer. Now I know I will enjoy using this because I do tend to have dry skin, especially around my mouth and around my nose. I'm just a little bit iffy about how it will go with the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation. Simply because this one is a little bit more of a luminous foundation, I've found that I do need to set this. So mixing it with a hydrating primer, I'm not quite sure how I'll go. I probably will need to use a lot more setting powder than I normally do. Now the reason why I'm not including setting powder in this is because I use one. I use my RCMA translucent no color powder and that's the only one I use so it's kind of no point including one powder in a video even though I did with the mascara but I mean I know like I don't know. 
Now, the next thing is a skincare item. This one is the Drunk Elephant C Firma Day Serum. Now, the reason why I wanted to include this is because, for one, it's a very expensive product. Two, I have had it for a little while. It's probably close to the end of its life, and I just wanted to use it up so as not to waste it. When I have really expensive products, I kind of let them sit there because it's too expensive to use, but at the same time, if it's going towards the end of its life, like it's gonna expire soon, it's gonna go off, then I need to use it, if that makes sense. I don't know, I don't know what's going on in my brain when it comes to these expensive ass things. Like, I like to have nice things, but then I don't use them, so what's kind of the point of having them if I don't use them? So that's why I'm gonna challenge myself to use up the rest of this product. I have probably gone, I don't know exactly, I mean obviously it's not a clear bottle, but I have gone through a fair bit of this, but I just wanna use up the absolute rest of it and make the most of the money that I spent on this expensive ass skincare product. <laughs> Now, the same goes for hair care. This one is the Brio Geo Don't Despair Repair Strength and Moisture Leave-In Mask. Now, this one is really, really great for the hair. It's expensive. I purchased it. I didn't end up using it because, again, it's expensive and I just want to let it sit there and use it for special occasions. But, I mean, like, if I have it, I may as well use it. So, that's why I'm also including this in my project pan video. Yeah, wish me luck. I have used a fair bit of it before. I don't know how much is actually it. It's actually a fair bit from the sounds of it. So I'm going to try and integrate this into my routine. I also tend to forget to use a lot of hair care products because I focus mostly on makeup and skincare that I sort of forget about my hair. I'm not huge on the hair stuff. I hate styling my hair. I hate doing anything with my hair. If I have to dye it, I'll probably pay my hairdresser to do it. But now that I can't afford to pay any want to do anything for me I'll probably do it myself so yeah I just forget to use hair stuff because I'm not huge on hair but since I purchased this I'm gonna use it I'm gonna use it up so wish me luck <laughs> last but not least this one is the essence matte touch blush now I've also again been quite stuck in a rut with the blush that I've been using I've been using the Juvia's Place Saharan blush volume palette too and I really really truly love it and it works so well on my skin I just love it it's perfect for me but I did want to challenge myself to use up this blush it's probably a little bit light for me so I'm gonna really only probably be using this for work because it's a very light blush I don't want to go too crazy with blushes for work so that's why I chose this one a lot of these products I probably could wear to work quite easily and really when I apply makeup I don't apply full makeup like this all the time so the products that I've chosen here are things that I know I could integrate into my everyday makeup routine and actually have a fair chance at hitting pan on these products so um yeah that's the last of the products I've got to share wish me luck on being able to use up these products guys I will update you in maybe a month or a couple months and show you what progress I have made on each of these products yeah that's it for this video I hope you guys enjoy it let me know if you enjoy product pan videos because I know it can get quite boring to be talking about the same thing and seeing the same products in every single video like I if I've talked about something already once I kind of don't really want to make another whole video about it but that's kind of the point of these project fan videos just giving you guys updates on what I've used up what I've been enjoying what I've had to cut out because maybe my skin broke out or it didn't work for me or it's just not working for me because sometimes products don't work out for you if that does happen I'm gonna swap it out for something else that I actually have a fair chance of using up so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already please subscribe before you leave it would help me out so so much I do upload new videos every Monday Wednesday and Friday so you can turn on the notification bell if you don't want to miss any of my future uploads. You can also follow me on my social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All of them my life is Ski Guy. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for being here and I really truly appreciate that you've chosen to spend your time here with me today. Thanks guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Now I'm just gonna jump straight into it. The first thing is the Dream Street. Now before I jump into these then... Now before I jump into these products now, just, just like, uh, one is my Morphe bronzer in the shade. One of them is my Morphe Bronzer as part of my makeup, as part of my makeup.